Welcome back, I'm Nick Yakabuchi, and our next review is the long-awaited third and final installment of the wonderful and successful Toy Story franchise. Toy Story 3 opened nationwide in Disney Digital 3D on Friday, June 18, 2010, and reunites the voice talents of Tom Hanks as Woody, Tim Allen as Buzz Lightyear, and Joan Cusack as everyone's favorite cowgirl, Jessie. This film comes to us from the masters at Pixar Studios under the direction of Lee Unrich. Lee Unrich is the credited co-director of Toy Story 2, Finding Nemo, and Monsters Incorporated, but steps up to the plate as sole director of Toy Story 3 and brings us nothing short of a grand slam. This story opens picking up 11 years after we last saw our favorite toys come to life. Cute little Andy has grown up and will be leaving for college in just a few days. We learn that most of our friends have been lost or sold, but our specific toys have stood the test of time. Joining Woody and Buzz are Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, Slinky Dog, Ham, Rex, and new to the gang this time is Barbie and her beau, Ken, voiced wonderfully by Michael Keaton. Andy must decide whether or not to keep holding on to his childhood friends, storing them in the attic, or out and out giving them away. Now he does settle upon the idea of keeping them in the attic, but of course through a mix-up, our characters end up starting an adventure that starts on a garbage truck, and that takes them up, down, over, and through a roller coaster of brilliantly crafted scenes. Our toys end up at Sunnyside Daycare Center and are soon tricked into being the playtime objects of the very young and immature kids. They are then taken prisoner and kept around only with the intention of taking the abuse from the very wild children. Now Woody was separated from the rest of the pack because he believed that he was going to be going away to college with Andy, but he fights tooth and nail to return to the daycare center to try and save the rest of his pals. They must all then escape the clutches of Lazzo, the evil stuffed bear, fend off a baby doll enforcer, and survive a fiery incinerator, all the while attempting to get back to Andy before he leaves for school. I cannot begin to say just how fantastic this film is. I always described Toy Story 2 as just as original as the original, and I think that this next part is no different. The people at Pixar Studios are without question the most amazing storytellers of any studio making movies, and they have been since 1995. They have an unbelievable ability to create something that actually appeals to everyone. Not only do they produce strikingly beautiful pieces of film, they are always filled with heart, meaning, emotion, and most of all, enjoyment. Whether you are 83 years old, 43 years old, or 3 years old, you will laugh out loud and become teary-eyed, usually in the same 100 minutes. The folks at Pixar raise the bar every time out and always seem to set the standard that everyone else has no choice but to follow. Toy Story 3 is filled with brilliant comedy, from the Rico Suave Buzz Lightyear dancing the Paso Doble at the end of the film, to Ken's fashion show, to the tributes paid to other movies including the two previous Toy Story films, this will have you laughing out loud. Also, this is just one constant adventure that starts almost immediately and never does it cease. This movie is exciting, it's thrilling, and when they're near death trying to flee the incinerator, you can easily find yourself on the very edge of your seat. That again marks one of the greatest strengths of Pixar films. There's always a finale so thrilling that you actually forget that you're even watching a cartoon. In the end, however, there is one true reason why these are already such treasured classics in the hearts of so many people. Because Woody and Buzz are just as lovable as the toys that we all grew up with. We've all been there, and all of us can relate to the conflict that plagues Andy at the end of this movie. It's almost as if you're saying goodbye to your childhood when you part with your toys, and maybe we all sort of know that in the back of our minds or in our hearts that they were really there for us every step of the way growing up. The end of this movie is very touching, and there were quite a few people in the theater sniffling through it. I really cannot think of any other way that it should have ended. I have racked my brain since seeing Toy Story 3, and for the life of me, I can't think of one thing wrong with it. In my opinion, this movie is absolute perfection, and it's easily the best film that I have seen this year. I can say with complete certainty that Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the gang will live on for decades, if not quite possibly for infinity and beyond. And as I come to the end of this review, and to the end of my experience with the entire Toy Story trilogy, I can only think of one way to sum up my thoughts and feelings. I'm going to quote Andy from the end of this film and just say, Thanks guys. Four stars out of four. And remember people, I'm not always right, only when it comes to the movies. And thank you for your attention.